Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys another DIY tutorials. And today I'm actually going to show how you can make your own sticker organizer. Alright, so hope that today's video can help you. And without further ado, let's get started. To make this, you will need foam board, ruler, cutter, and glue gun the first thing you want to do is to measure and cut out your foam board pieces and here's the measurement that I use next you want to take the 16 x 20 and the 20 x 20 pieces and glue them together this will be the base and the back part of your organizer and please be sure to glue it strongly then you want to take one of the side piece and glue it onto the side here i'm using my glue gun to stick every single one of the foam board that i use next we're going to use this 5x5 piece and you will need to glue four of them onto four corners of the base these pieces will act as a race, so when you glue the second base above it, you're sure that you actually glue it straightly, so you will have even drawer space later on. And after you're done, you want to take the second 16x20cm piece and glue it above those rays. Make sure to glue it strongly, and this is what it should look like afterwards. Next, you want to take the 4x4cm four four piece, and you want to glue it onto the back corner of the organizer. Then we will use the 20x4.8cm piece, and you just need to glue it above the 4x4cm four four piece that you just glued earlier. Next, you want to take the 12 times 20 cm piece and glue it in front of the platform that you just made. It's kind of hard to explain it by word, but if you see the video, I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to understand it very well. Next, I'm going to use this 4 times 2 cm piece and then I just simply glue it in front of the board that I just stick. Then we're going to use another 20 times 4.8 cm piece and we just simply need to glue it above it like what you did before. Now we're going to use the 20 times 8 cm piece and you just simply need to glue it in front of the structure that you just made. And make sure that you glue every single one of the piece strongly. Now we will use this 4 times 20 cm piece and I will glue it to the front part of the organizer. This is what your organizer should look like from the side and as you can see here we actually have this staircase kind of thing. Next you want to take the second side panel and you just simply want to use your glue stick to stick it onto the side. This is what it looks like right now. You can definitely stop here, but I want to have drawer on the bottom side so that I can use it to store my sticker flakes like this. So I'm going to make the drawers. And here's the measurement that I use. And please note that this measurement might not work for you. Alright, so first of all, we're going to take these two pieces and we're going to make it as the base of the drawer. So you just simply want to stick the 17 times 4.5 cm piece onto the side, like so. Then we will take the other piece and glue it on the side like this, so that you will create a box. Make sure that you glue everything strongly so that you will have a sturdy drawer. And 
then we're going to take the small pieces and we're going to use these things to make the separator on the middle part. The making of the separators is pretty self-explanatory and I feel like it's kind of hard to explain it with words. So here I actually suggest you to watch the video and I'm pretty sure it will be very easy to understand. After you glue the separators, it should look something like this and you're basically done. So now you can put the drawer into the empty parts that we have on the bottom part of the organizer. And now you can use it to sort your sticker flakes. And here's what the finished product looked like. I know that it's kind of huge, but I believe that because it is big, you are able to store a lot of different stuff in it. And not only stickers, you can also use it to store your memo pads, sticky notes, washi tape, etc. And other than that, I'm sure that you can use this as a desk organizer too. Alright, so that's it for today's video, hope it can help, and I also hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you do, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys in my next video. Bye!